The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by Light Panels, makers of the world-renowned Emmy Award-winning green-friendly LED lighting systems. Check them out at lightpanels.com. Kevin Pollock, welcome to the Digital Scene Show here at Blog World Expo 2009. I can't thank you enough and tell you how important this is for me and my world. I'm sure it is. No, it, it is. But it definitely. What was your is name? Marcelo. Marcelo. <laughs> yes. It definitely is important for me, Kevin. Of course it is. <laughs> Hi, Marcelo. What can I do for you? Excellent to meet you. Well, let's start out by asking you why are you here at uh, Blog World Expo. Why am I here at Blog World? <laughs> hmm. Let huh, me think. Could it be I, anything to do oh. with that microphone? Uh, in I the started show. doing an online talk show called Kevin Pollock's Chat Show. I'm sorry. What was that name? And. Uh, we were invited here for me to be, uh, we should have a more of a wet surface here for me to rest on. Uh, for me to be a part of the big keynote extravaganza this evening. So I'm very excited uh, to participate in that. And then while well, I brought my crew, so we're getting some uh, man in the street sort of interviews with people like you're getting with me right now. That's Wait right. a second. You've turned the tables, Marcelo. <laughs> well, I'll get you. Uh, and also getting the word out there about the chat show and learning as much as we can from other people about um, media, new media, and how the marketing of it goes. Well, you know, you've been doing a lot of stuff, obviously, TV, film, traditional, right? What they call traditional media. Yes. <laughs> yes, Marcelo, I am known in the traditional media world. Kind of, right? Yeah. So why did you switch to new media? I mean, what made you take it's that It's not lead? so much that I've switched to new media. Or at it. I have three films coming out in the next six right. months, so to suggest that I've given up on old traditional media is a bit silly. Because, as you know, part of this new wild open frontier of new media, everyone is still scrambling, trying to figure out how to monetize. And for me, the idea of jumping in headfirst into the shallow end with the chat show was not to care about the mon monetization hising of the show uh, as much as letting the show breathe grow evolve find an audience and figure it out later we're now uh, half a year of our lives into this thing we just did our 27th show once a week 26 weeks is half a year but last week we did two hours with Eddie Izzard uh, I did two hours with Seth MacFarlane um, the idea is to share with people these people, uh, the, the, my guests' journey, how they got from there to here. Um, as a guest on all these talk shows myself over the years, all the Tonight Shows, all the Late Shows, um, Charlie Rose was my favorite because you got a chance to really find out through an actual conversation what the person thought. And so that's what we've tried to capture. So do you find with new media you have that flexibility, that freedom to do things like that that you maybe yes. in traditional you don't? Yeah. yeah. The big difference is four weeks into doing the, our chat show online, I was contacted by a producer who has a deal at Showtime and said, do you want to bring your chat show over to Showtime? And I said, I'm thrilled for the offer and thank you so much. It means a lot. But this is not for broadcast television. This is for the internet. And the reason that I feel so strongly about that, well, several reasons, one of which is there's nothing else like this online. And the freedoms I have online are not available to me in broadcast television. I couldn't get two and a half hours with Eddie Izzard or Seth MacFarlane or Matthew Perry or Dana Carvey or Jason Lee. Don't make me go down the list, because that's you embarrassing. The I forgot the name of the show. <laughs> um, so the freedom that I get and to be able to be in this new media and be able to say there's nothing else like my show online. That's extraordinary. It certainly is. So do you, do you think the traditional media folks, the executive producers and traditional media are not getting it yet? Or are they? So-called traditional media is now racing to catch up. Right. And even the Emmys, the big theme was this was the last year of the Emmys on broadcast television and they poked fun at the internet as much as they could and they did an awfully good job and they were very funny but there's no reason to do those jokes unless there's a truth behind it 
And so it was kind of a celebration for those of us who were working so hard in new media. Well, the DGA, I don't know if you attended, they just recently had a new media day, a whole day dedicated to what the DGA and directors should do right. to jump on, on new media. So it seems like you can't get more traditional than that, and they're, they're saying, hey, it's time to go. All forms of traditional media are now either in business or finding a way to get into business with new media. What's the future of new media as you see it? In fact, it? I can't wait for new media to be no longer called new media. Just media. Because it's not that new. Right. It's just new to a lot of other people. Right. So for those people that didn't catch your show, where do they go to uh, register? Well, for you it? can go to KevinPollockChatShow.com. Okay. All the episodes and interviews are archived for free, of course. You go to iTunes, podcast, just type in Kevin Pollock's Chat Show. You can subscribe, also free. In terms of monetizing the show, it'll evolve to that place when it's time. Um, right now we're so focused on just letting people discover us. You know, without a publicist, I come from traditional media, you can't do anything without a publicist. But without a publicist or a marketing division, we were live once a week for about six weeks before we ended up column one, front page of the LA Times. And I didn't have to kill anyone. You don't get coverage like that. I mean, even if we had a publicist in a marketing division, no publicist in the right mind could promise you, well, we'll get you column one front page, above the fold, as they call it. All right, it was a slow news day. What's your point? The point is, we're there. That's, no, but it's physical evidence as to what the show is capable of, what any online show is capable of. There's the physical evidence right there. Well, and you're going directly to the fans. There's no middle guy, right? You're going directly to the fans, and they, they put you There's out there. clearly no overlord yeah. uh, from a broadcast network sense or a studio sense or input from, other, from any entity. Right. All right, one final. I know you're a busy guy. One final thing. Can you tell me something interesting about yourself as Larry King and then wave us goodbye? Thanksgiving. I like to teabag the gravy boats before the guests arrive. Saskatoon, you're on. <laughs>